Hi, this is TJ DeSalvo, author of the Anxiety Shame Anxiety blog, and I don't know about you, I'm, I've come to a point where I just, like, I've just stopped, like, watching the news, like, at all, just because there's just too much. It's too much to take in, it's too much to deal with, and I'm just, like, at the risk of sounding ill-informed, I just don't want to deal with it. It's because it's too much processing to, like, you know, and you think you can't process it. You think there's too much going on. It's too chaotic for you to be able to make sense out of. At least that's how I'm feeling now. And I think, I don't think I'm alone in feeling like this. I think a lot of people feel this way. And I don't know about you, but when I feel that way, I, I, I just, my natural instinct is just to, like, you know, just to feel, like, this despair. Just to, like, I want to give up and, you know withdraw I guess but I think at times like this you know not doing that and like reaching out to people friends family whatever is like really important because they can make you feel you know in this sort of chaotic world those people can make you feel like you're grounded like you like there's still you know a the center in your life there's still a center that will hold basically in spite of everything else that's going on and i think what makes so many people feel so crazy is they feel like there's you know the center isn't holding and you just have to like to find that center that stable center for yourself is i think really important and to withdraw if you withdraw as is natural for people like me and for probably a lot of you, that's just not going to happen. Um, so now, especially now, don't withdraw. Keep those people in your life and just hold on to them because they're the most important things that you've got right now to keep you going.